I always bring a thermos with me to the cemetery, but it's not for drinking. Cleaning graves used to take me a lot of time, but ever since a stonemason showed me this trick, it only takes a few minutes. Polished graves are sensitive to scrubbing, which makes it hard to clean dried dirt or wax. It turns out that boiling water does the job. Pour it from the thermos onto the wax, and the high temperature will dissolve it and other stains in minutes. Then, just wipe with a damp cloth, and the headstone will shine like never before. Always take a photo of the grave once you've prepared it for All Saints' Day. This may seem strange, but it's a proven method. Unfortunately, cemeteries still attract thieves who look for impressive candles or bouquets left on graves. They take these items to resell or place on their own relatives' graves. That's why this tip I've shown you is worth trying. A photo with the specific arrangement can help you track down a thief. Take this to the cemetery to avoid any problems. This is how you can secure your floral arrangements and candles from theft. Unfortunately, thieves still roam cemeteries, waiting for decorative candles and arrangements left on gravestones. They take them to resell or place on their relatives' graves. This year, the problem might be even more severe. Here's a solution. First, equip yourself with a marker and bring it with you to the cemetery. Then, label all your candles and arrangements. You can write the name or surname of the deceased, or just their initials, or whatever you prefer. This way, a potential thief is less likely to steal anything from the gravestone, as they won't be able to sell marked candles. Before All Saints' Day, everyone invests in candles and floral arrangements. That's why it's worth using this trick I showed you. It will minimize the risk of theft and reduce the chance that a thief will target our decorations on the grave. Take pasta to the cemetery. It might seem unusual to bring food to a cemetery, but pasta can be very useful and make it much easier to tend to your loved one's graves. We've all had trouble lighting candles with matches or a lighter. Using pasta will solve this problem for good. You're probably wondering which type of pasta to use. Of course, the longest one, spaghetti. It's the perfect alternative to short matches that can risk burning your hands. Just light it with a lighter and use it to ignite the candle. Pasta holds a flame for much longer than a match, making it easier to light not just one, but many candles. It allows you to reach deep into the lanterns without any hassle. Though it might seem funny, it will actually protect you from potential burns. Make a bouquet for a grave for $5. You don't have to spend a fortune at the florist. Just buy a floral sponge in a basket. You'll pay about $5 for such a piece. The rest of the items you can find in the forest or your garden. Take a walk and cut a few branches of spruce, rowan, juniper, or other coniferous trees. Also, collect a few pine cones, acorns, or even mushrooms. Take the floral sponge out of the plastic basket and place it in a bowl of water. Let it sit for a few minutes to absorb the water, then put it back into the basket. Cut the branches you gathered into smaller pieces and insert them into the base of the sponge. Place the longest branches at the ends of the basket to create an elongated shape. Once you've placed the branches around the entire bouquet, take a different type of branch and create another layer. This time, arrange them at a slight angle to lift them from the base. I use silver spruce for this. I place the thickest branches on both ends of the sponge. A carefully made base of needles will make the bouquet look like it came from a florist. This is the part where it's worth taking your time. Fill any gaps with small branches. It's important that the sponge or basket isn't visible through the needles. For the next layers, insert branches pointing upward. On top, I add the prettiest branches I found during the walk. The focal point of the bouquet will be the rowan. Its berries have a beautiful red color. Remove the leaves from the branches and tie two of them together to form a small bouquet. Use floral wire to hold them together and stick them into the sponge. Then I take an oak branch. Its leaves have a lovely golden color. 
These leaves are among the few that don't fall off after drying. Together with the rowan, they create a beautiful autumn composition. I add one more rowan branch and fill the center with green needles. Now prepare the treasures you found in the forest. Pine cones, acorns, and even mushrooms will beautifully decorate the arrangement. Use hot glue to attach them to the bouquet. Long pine cones will fill the empty spaces nicely. You can create beautiful compositions with mushrooms and acorns. Finally, make a bow from ribbon. I used a ribbon from an old bouquet. I always save such things and reuse them. I leave long ends and curl them into spirals. Stick the bow onto a thick layer of glue, and you're done. This bouquet is eco-friendly. Most of the materials used are biodegradable. The plants in it stay fresh for a long time, so the bouquet will look beautiful for weeks. Don't spend a fortune on plastic bouquets from the florist. Take care of the environment and make one yourself. The only cost is the sponge for a few dollars, and the effect will be just as good. Candle and insert manufacturers don't want you to know this. Before buying another candle insert, there's one crucial detail you should know to ensure you're getting the best product. At first glance, inserts in stores may look the same, but some contain more paraffin, and as you know, the more paraffin, the longer the burn time. Start by checking the plastic casing. If the insert slips out of it, that's a bad sign. This means that inserts falling out of their casing contain less paraffin than those securely fixed inside. The color of the paraffin also matters. Pure white inserts are artificially aerated, causing them to burn faster. It's better to choose a slightly yellow insert. Weight is also important when selecting an insert. Ideally, pick inserts labeled with the same burn time, then weigh each on a store scale. Choose the heaviest one. The more paraffin, the longer it's likely to burn. Follow these tips, and you'll make the right choice. Make a bouquet for $15. You don't need to spend a fortune at the florist. Just buy floral foam in a basket and a candle. During fall garden cleanups, I collected some branches. I trimmed my spruce. You can also use branches of thuja, which are popular in gardens, for such a bouquet. I also gathered a few pine cones during a walk. I take the floral foam out of the plastic basket. I put it in a bowl of water and leave it for a few minutes to soak well. Then I place it back in the basket. Using hot glue, I attach the candle, making sure it's right in the center of the foam. I don't skimp on the glue to ensure it's firmly attached. I cut the branches into smaller pieces and insert them into the base of the foam. At first, I insert evenly sized branches from each side of the foam to create a round shape. The next layer of branches is inserted at an angle, going upwards. I fill in the spaces between the branches with small trimmings, so that the foam and basket don't show through. I save the prettiest branches for the second layer and continue to fill in the arrangement. I try to choose the branches so that they form a circle. It's important for the needles to surround the candle but not cover it. I densify the arrangement with trimmings. Finally, I take decorative branches with a warm tone and spread them throughout the bouquet. To finish, I take the pine cones and attach them to the branches using hot glue, doing this randomly to make it look natural. This bouquet is simple to make. I completed it in 30 minutes and paid only $15 for it. It looks natural and elegant and stays fresh for a long time. You can also find a video on my channel with instructions for a lush bouquet for $5. The link to the video is in the description. Let me know in the comments which bouquet you like the most.